these makers today we're going to be painting a holiday house i am working with these colors today i have red yellow green black blue and white i'm working on an 8x10 canvas panel of course you can use any canvas size that you wish i also have some mixing plates to mix up all my colors on and three different brushes i have a large brush a medium brush and a small brush and then i also have a water vessel to keep my brushes nice and fresh as well as some paper towels to rinse and dry off my brushes with. First thing we're gonna do is draw out our house with our background colors. So we need to mix up our sky blue first. It's pretty dark since it's nighttime, but I am gonna grab a very small touch of white and then a nice big scoop of blue. I'm gonna mix those together and I should still have a pretty decently deep blue. I'm gonna set this brush aside and now I'm gonna be grabbing out my small brush. We're gonna twirl it a little bit into the small brush and the first thing I'm gonna do is draw in my snow hill. So I'm just gonna start pretty down low in my canvas and do a little wave. And then for my house I'm gonna start off by drawing a nice square, big square that's more over to the right side. Then for the roof, we're going to extend these lines out just a touch. And we're going to bring our roof up slanted towards the center. Slant inward. And draw a line across. And then we're going to draw two triangle peaks on the top of our roof. It kind of makes it look like a McDonald's box. Like one of those Happy Meals boxes. And then lastly, with this blue, I'm going to be drawing in my crescent moon. So I'm going to draw the letter C, and then a smaller C. Once you have that drawn in, we're going to be filling in our background with this blue. Next, we're going to mix up the green for our house. I'm going to be taking my medium brush to mix it up. And of course, you can use any color you want for your house color. Um, but to mix this green, I'm going to grab a scoop of white, a scoop of yellow, half a scoop of green, and a small touch of black. I actually want to make mine a little bit darker, so I'm going to add some more green, yellow, and black just to get rid of some of that white. Now before we fill in our house, I'm going to be taking my small brush in the screen and we're going to be drawing out our windows and our door. So I'm going to start with the door. Um, it's going to go up, out halfway up the house over here on the left side. And then we have a window that's sort of like one third the size of our door and it's pretty long horizontally. Then we're going to have three even square windows along the top floor. I'm also going to outline these little pieces of the house up here. They're almost like miniature houses in shape. And I'm going to leave a small square in the middle. For windows. Then I can go ahead and fill up my house, except for the roof. We're not going to fill in the roof with the green. Next up, we're going to be making the yellow for our moon. So I'm going to grab a scoop of yellow, a small touch of red, and a half a scoop of white. I'm going to fill in my moon. And then I'm going to also fill in some of my windows with this yellow. Now I'm going to make a midnight blue 
to go in the other windows. So I'm gonna get a scoop of blue and a scoop of black and fill up the other windows. Next, I want to take my small brush and some white paint and just paint over the blue line that is on my door. Then we're going to be mixing up the brown that is for our roof. So I'm going to grab a scoop of white, a scoop of yellow, half a scoop of red, and a touch of black. Once you get a brown that you're happy with, we're going to go ahead and fill in the roof. Next, I'm going to be adding in my stars. We're actually going to be taking the handle of our small brush, dipping it in white paint, and just poking a whole bunch of times to add all these stars. Next up, I'm going to paint my door red. Small brush, red paint. Now before we do anything else, we need to let our painting dry. Take about 10 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, I'll show you around the studio. Next, after we have a dry canvas, we're gonna go back to our small brush and into that brown. We need to add little roofs, very thin lines to the tops of these smaller green house shaped parts of the house. It's almost like there are little rooms up in the attic. Next, we're gonna mix a darker green that's going to be the garland and our roof. So I'm gonna take a scoop of green, small touch of black, scoop of yellow. And I'm gonna draw four little loops that go across the bottom of our roof. Next, we're gonna work to outline all of our windows and doors in white paint. So small brush, white paint. We're gonna use very, very light pressure on our brush to get really thin lines. We're also going to be adding a doorknob, just a little dot over on the right side of the door. Next, I'm going to be adding some snow to the top of my roof with the white paint. Starting thin and then getting nice and bulgy. I'm also going to be adding some thin white lines on the bottom side of that brown roof part that we made after the dry break. It's almost like a little mountain range happening there. And then I'm also going to add some snow along the top edge of these garlands. And if you need to go over that top edge of the snow down in the bottom to make it nice and crisp, now would be a good time to do that. This window here has some red shutters. So with your small brush and red paint, I'm going to draw two red lines on the edges.
And the last step, we're going to be adding some bows along the points of the garland that touch the roof. So we should have five bows. I'm going to draw like a little heart shape. And then flick out once and twice. And congratulations, you have created your very own holiday house painting. I hope you are very proud with what you have created. Make sure you sign your name somewhere on here so you can take credit for making your beautiful masterpiece. Also, don't forget to post them on social media. We would love to see what you painted at home. Tag us at muse underscore paint bar so we can check them out. And if you had a fabulous time, don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, view all the tutorials that we have for you to create a beautiful painting at your own home. And with that, we'll see you again next time.